everybody in this video I'll be talking about my powders which I use for setting my makeup or uh, on the days that I just don't want to wear so much makeup on my face and I use them alone okay uh, the first powder that I want to talk about is my Ketan Ali in number five I've talked about this powder a lot in my previous video so if you want to uh, see a more detailed video you can check them out and this is a powder which gives a good coverage and it smells gorgeous and i like the way it um, looks on my skin it's very cheap in price um, so i really really like it i use up three of these and now i have three more um, so i really like it i think that this is a turkey only product but I'm not sure, maybe you can find it in Europe too. If you can, I, w I suggest you to go and try. I really like this. Another Ketunale powder is this. Okay, I want to show you the color difference. This is number 5 and this is number 6. So I like using this on summer. It has more beigey undertones. And another kitten alley powder is this one it has two colors and I really really like this powder because it has kind of a sheen in it I don't know if you can tell on the on here but on the skin it gives just a little bit kind of luminance if it's the right word but it looks pretty natural and at the same time it gives you kind of a little bit glow which looks amazing i really really like these ketanale powders a lot another favorite of mine is maybelline's dream matte powder um it doesn't give you much coverage it's very sheer but it sets your makeup perfectly um it, the color is not very obvious so it's kind of light um but it looks natural on the skin and well, it makes your skin looking matte, but not a dull matte. You know, it um, it looks natural, still natural. So I really like it. And my shade is 05 Apricot Beige. Again, I wouldn't use this powder alone because it doesn't give uh, any coverage to me. But I like um, setting my foundation with this powder. And I like carrying it with me because it has a sponge in it which is dirty and nasty <laughs> and a mirror so it's really good for um, quick daily touch-ups another um, powder is Rimmel's stay matte powder and mine is broken um, well these two um, powder claim to be um, mattifying powders but I find this better than this because it keeps you um, shine free more than this and it looks more natural when I wear this okay it makes me look mad but it also makes me look like deadly mad or it doesn't look natural on the skin so um, I really don't reach for this powder that often another favorite oh i really like this powder and it's by mac it's my mineralized skin finish natural my shade is light i like this powder because it looks very very natural on the skin it sets your foundation perfectly and at the same time it gives you a matte finish but it has um i don't know it's matte but it it's not that matte which it looks like you don't wear powder so I really really like this it gives no coverage um, I know some people wear this alone and um, on the daily basis I'm not one of them because it gives no coverage to me at all um, I definitely need more coverage but I still like this um, powder because it looks very natural um, like you don't wear any powder or anything so I like this uh, when I finish this I will definitely repurchase it again Another powder by MAC is my Studio Fix and my shade is C2 um, and it looks like this. It's pretty yellow based um, light colored powder. I like the light color of it but I don't like that it gives me a very matte and very dull um, makeup um, look because when I wear this I, I don't I don't think that I look natural some people like to use this alone as a foundation uh, I don't because 
as I said before, it doesn't look natural. It doesn't give me as much coverage as I need. And at the same time, it's, it looks very unnatural and like I'm wearing a mask um, a, that makes my skin look um, deadly pale. And at the same time, I don't know, I really don't like this powder wearing alone. On foundation, I kind of like it, but still it's not as natural as this one if I would have to choose between them I would definitely choose this so I think I won't buy this again another favorite of mine is my MAC select sheer powder and my shade is NC20 um, I like this powder for setting my foundation I like that it's um, not a pressed powder it's a loose powder so um, sometimes you know I when I just want to use a loose powder I like this Sometimes I use this for setting my under eye concealer. Something weird about this powder is it's only the color is NC, NC the color is NC20, but it still looks pretty dark on the lid. Like it's not NC20. Um, and when I apply it on to my skin, it doesn't look that dark, but it's still kind of yellow and dark. And the thing is, I have Studio Fix Fluid in NC15 and it looks way too light and NC20 powder is dark. So I don't know what am I. Uh, I'm not, I'm pale, but I'm not that pale that NC20 would be dark for me. I don't know. Again, it's not very dark on my skin, but it's definitely uh, on the darker side. If I wear a foundation which looks um, paler than my skin doesn't ma really match. I like using this and darken the foundation up so yes these are my powders and um, if you have any questions and recommendations um, please feel free to contact me and thanks for watching I will talk to you later bye